Hello and welcome to The Creative Stretch. I am Dr. Manette Riordan, the founder of Mindful Patterns, a creativity coach and mixed media artist here with my co-founder, Andrea Chevalu from A Work of Heart Studio in San Jose, California, where I have an art supply store and I also teach online classes. I love it. And Andrea and I were having coffee on the Malibu Pier. Gosh, it's probably been two or three years ago now. It's been way too long since we've sat and had coffee in person and ate yummy chocolate cake. And we had this sort of aha insight about the type of conversation that we wanted to be having ourselves on the page and with other artists as well. And from that conversation was born this idea of the creative stretch. So the creative stretch is a series of guest artist interviews. There have been some art lessons in the past and there's been this in-depth exploration of the connection between core values and creativity. It has been so fundamentally shifting for me to take my art from just focusing on, like I love art supplies, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Like I love knowing everything about them and how they work and how they work together and all of that. My focus had always been so much on process and if uh, my finished piece was great, fine, but I'm there for the journey of the process, but it was more focused on technique and supplies and the meaning was completely void. I don't know if you can relate to that or not, but, um, or those who are watching, because I know Manette has a different path into it, but yeah. I, um, I was really, it felt like that was only sustainable to some degree. Um, that I was really longing for a deeper connection to my own artwork. And it felt like there was a block there for so long, just like a, a wall um, that I wasn't really going through the door into exploring my, I, I had this whole other thought, life, you know, emotion, life, but it really wasn't connected. And that is what Creative Stretch has done for me. Creating this program with Manat has just been, like I said, transformative in my art practice and I still love art supplies and I still love the process, but now it feels so much more meaningful and purposeful when I connect the thoughts, the feelings, and the, the as we've done in the past two seasons, core values. But in this next season, I'm very excited to connect um, feelings to them because core values are one thing, but, but you wanna talk a little bit about how we're gonna be talking about feelings this time? Yeah, so um, I love what you said about the part about, you know, you came in through the process and we even define process differently. So for you, process was about the technique of layering colors and mixing colors and adding marks. And for me was always starting with the meaning and then how could I learn the techniques to turn that into something that was both meaningful and pleasing. So we both love process, but we were defining it differently. And when we were talking about the creative stretch, we even had this um, conversation about how can we support people in just stay up here in the technique and have fun exploring the supplies and playing, or how could we start to show you simple ways to go below the surface to find that deeper connection? And Andrea, I think a lot of this was born out of really our love and passion for morning pages and wanting to evolve that process as well. So we're both huge fans of Julia Cameron's The Artist Way. Andrea has taught that program multiple times. I've participated in the program multiple times. That was life-changing as well. But we all get to a point as visual artists where we want more of the visual, right? And so we really started this dialogue around how could we combine the visual and the verbal into something that became a transformational conversation within ourselves to help us grow as human beings and as artists, right? Because we're always growing, we're always learning. And we also felt strongly that we just didn't need another art class. We both offer all different kinds of classes, online and in person. We offer in-person and online retreats together and independently as well. And we were looking to have a completely different type of conversation. And like Andrea said, the first two seasons of the creative stretch were focused on the connection between core values and creativity. And season one is alive and waiting for you right here on YouTube. Season two will be coming soon. And this fall in October of 2022, we'll be launching season three. I can't believe it's season three. 
And Andrea and I have had, it's been a bit of a rough year, to be a little bit honest. We've been through a lot, um, not together in doing our own thing. So we've been in these sort of side-by-side paths. And for Christmas last year, I sent Andrea a copy of Brene Brown's Atlas of the Heart. And we were sitting down trying to get re-inspired for the fall season of the creative stretch and wonder how could we make the conversation even a little bit more meaningful, a little bit deeper now that we had done core values. And we came up with this idea of bringing this, the idea of emotions to the conversation. So what you can expect in season three of our conversations with our guest artist is a deep exploration of things like joy and foreboding joy, which we had a great conversation about yesterday, and grief and gratitude, anger, anxiety, and exhilaration, all and these boredom. things. And boredom. That one and came boredom. up and I'm like, that is a feeling. It is. How does that relate? And what? Yeah. how does that relate to my creative practice? And so I think that what what's so exciting to me about this is how do these feelings relate to my creative practice? Yeah. That's that's the key because we can talk about feelings all day, but we're here talking about how they relate to me as a creative and my daily creative practice. How do my feelings show up on the page? Mm -hmm. How do I process my feelings? How do I use art as a therapeutic tool to connect to the feelings, to identify what they are? And a lot of times it's through writing, but a lot of times it's just through the use of the colors that I use, the patterns that I use, the imagery that I use. And mm -hmm. so that's what the creative stretch is all about is connecting. And we have some amazing artists lined up. We're still lining up some of our artists for season three, but we've already had some yeses from some amazing people that we cannot wait to share with you later on this year. But for now, we want to invite you to dive in and enjoy season one of the creative stretch, where we had some amazing conversations with, I think there's six or seven guest artists and a few videos from just Andrea and I diving into 30 different core values and always what ends up being so fun and catches us by surprise every time is you can take pretty much any three core values, mix them up and then start to see the synchronicities. And what shifted for us, at least for me, I'll let you speak for yourself to finish us off, was this um, just shifting of my values and my connection to them and things that I had never even thought about as a core value all of a sudden becoming so much more important on the page. Things maybe like humor that you haven't really thought about, um, you know, connection and authenticity and integrity. Yes, yes, yes. Trust. Yes, yes, yes. But challenge. Ooh, challenge through me personally for a loop. I think that one's coming in season two. But how about you, Andrea? What shifted from you personally from just being in these conversations? Um, I think that it was a, a lot of identifying that things that I thought were core value, like what it actually means to be living in alignment with my core values um, and sort of giving myself permission to not do it perfectly to let yeah. some of them be aspirational. That was, I'm getting goosebumps. That was huge for me um, personally. And the reason that I'm very excited about um, talking about feelings and emotions this time is just my own personal work. It's like where I am. And so, um, you know, we always bring stuff to the table that we need to work on um, okay. I, for myself. I want to bring to the table what I need to work on. That's the way I, that's the way I work in art. And that's the way um, I love working in the creative stretch as well is like just identifying. So just being aware of the, the feelings that I'm having, pinpointing them, identifying them, you know? Yeah. So um, yeah, I think the awareness has been the, the, the biggest shift for me. <sighs> All of that. To say, it's a lot. It's a lot it for sure. Mm -hmm. It is, but it's good and worthy work. And again, yeah. I want to stress, this is not another art class. There's lots of those out there. And we are very aware that most of us are sort of trying to drink from the fire hose of stuff that's coming at us. That's all exciting. None of us want to miss out on anything, but the creative stretch is something that's very easily integrated into everything else that you're doing. It will help you align even that, um, have a lot of peace around what you can and can't do. 
Mm -hmm. And yeah, and it will settle the overwhelm. I know it has for me. I have so much more peace around um, the natural overwhelm that can happen in this world where we're so hyper connected and and uh, there's so many opportunities coming at us. We are very sensitive to the fact that we're offering you another opportunity, but I just tell you, listening to the conversations that we have with the artists and doing that while you're doing other art lessons mm -hmm. from your other programs um, is just such a meaningful thing. So we hope you join in with us and uh, take advantage of what we have to offer this season. Yep, we're super, super excited. So season one is available now. Season two will be available soon. And season three will be coming in October. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. You'll find links to Andrea and I both on Instagram. Below this video, we invite you to come follow us, send us some DMs, let us know what you think, or leave a, a comment in the videos below. And let us know how this shifts your personal conversation around your creative practice and living in alignment with your core values. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Manette Riordan. I'm here with Andrea Shabaloo. Thanks for we'll being here. We'll see you soon.